dinosaurs will forever haunt our nightmares. But there have been other creatures far more terrifying than even the almighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. Some of them are thankfully already extinct. But some others are still very much alive and thriving right under our noses. From the most powerful creature ever created by God to a newly discovered deep sea gigantic monster, here are 15 animals that are scarier than dinosaurs. Number 15. Titanoboa Snake This is the largest snake to have ever existed on planet Earth. 60 million years ago, it ruled the Amazon, and nothing could stand in its way. The Titanoboa could measure up to 45 feet in length, which is longer than a school bus, and it weighed an approximate 1.26 tons, which is as much as a car. It was a constrictor boa, which means it was incredibly strong and could dislocate its jaws to eat its prey whole. It could kill and eat literally any creature it wanted. It could hunt on land and in the water, and it was an incredibly fast and effective apex predator. And it's believed to have been one of the deadliest predators to have ever existed. And as for this image, this is a recreation of how some people believe the Titanoboa to have looked. Some people believe it was a five-headed snake monster, while others believe it was a gigantic, hairy, snake-like creature as seen on the image on the right. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on its appearance. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Dinosuchus. Dinosuchus literally means in ancient Greek, terrible crocodile, so that should give you an idea of how terrifying this monster was. It lived from 82 million years ago up to the end of the Cretaceous period, when there was a large mass extinction event called the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event. It is the ancestor of the modern day crocodile and alligator, but the Dinosuchus was extremely bigger. And by bigger, I mean that this gigantic beast could reach lengths of almost 14 meters and weigh 5,000 kilograms. They could hunt with ease on dry land and in the water, which meant that nothing could really escape from them. They were absolute apex predators. Their teeth were the size of a modern-day banana, and they were razor sharp. To support such a weight out of the water, the Dinosuchus evolved to be extremely strong and agile with an incredibly broad skull. Its preferred method of hunting would have been to ambush dinosaurs and other terrestrial animals at the water's edge, grabbing them with its jaws and submerging them until they're drowned. Not a pleasant way to go. Number 13. Arctodus. This short-faced bear lived during the Pleistocene Epoch some 10,000 years ago in what today we know as the North American continent. It was a massively huge bear that was faster than a horse and stronger than any mammal living today. Since the day of the dinosaurs, the Arctodus is the largest carnivorous creature to have walked this earth. It had intensely powerful jaws that could deliver a lethal and crushing bite, and the largest claws known to man. It had very strong limbs, making it a very fast runner, and also allowing it to deliver deadly strikes in a much more efficient way. Experts say that it could hunt down and kill any prey it wanted, putting it at the absolute top of its food chain in its natural habitat. The only thing that seems it could slow down the short-faced bear was a geological phenomena in his territory, the pesky, sticky pools of tar. This gigantic bear was so extremely dangerous, it has been dubbed the Death Bear. Arctodus were hyper-carnivores, which means that their diet was between 70 to 100% flesh from other animals. Number 12. Mega Piranha. 
The Mega Piranha, as its name suggests, is an extinct relative of the modern-day piranha, but it was incredibly larger and deadlier. It lived between 8 to 10 million years ago during the Miocene Epoch in Argentina. No need to go see the movie Piranha, this was a real-life aquatic, flesh-eating monster that roamed through the rivers of South America, killing everything in its way. It is believed that it could reach the staggering length of one meter, making it the absolute king river monster. Unfortunately, the only body part that has ever been found of the Mega Piranha are the premaxilla, the most forward portion of the upper jaw. This means that there's no way of knowing exactly how big this creature was. There can only be estimates. Its teeth were serrated and arranged in a zigzag line for optimal flesh bite. As modern-day piranhas, they probably lived in large shoals, which made them extremely dangerous to pretty much anything that would cross their path. They're believed to have been monstrous carnivores. Carnivores. You can be thankful that these creatures are extinct, and if they come back to life, well, the movie already painted a pretty good picture of what would happen. Number 11. Andrew Sarkis Meet the largest land mammalian carnivore to have ever walked this earth the Andrew Sarkis. It lived sometime between 40 to 35 million years ago in what today is Mongolia. It was as tall as a modern-day horse and weighed close to a ton. They could measure up to 5.5 meters long and could grow up to 2 meters in height. It was a scavenger feeder, but it could also be extremely deadly if needed. The Andrew Sarkis might look like it could be related to modern-day scavengers like hyenas or dogs, and it was filed under Mesonikid for a long time, but it is no longer classified as such. Because researchers have actually discovered it had hooves on its feet instead of claws, making it the ancient relative of goats and sheep rather than canines. Talk about a sheep in wolves clothing. Just imagine a goat with a one meter long jaw designed to crush both flesh and bones. Terrifying. Strap some horns onto this monster and you'd have the spitting image of the devil. A massively huge hoofed creature feeding on the decaying corpses of other animals. The stuff of nightmares. Number 10. Gigantopithecus. The Gigantopithecus was a very large ape which lived between 2.6 million and 11,700 years ago in what is today southern China. When the first fossilized Gigantopithecus teeth were found, they were thought to be dragon's teeth. But modern researchers have evidently debunked that theory. But still, that should give you an idea of just how large these beasts were. They stood at 10 feet tall and weighed up to 5 tons, making them the world's largest ape to have ever existed. And even if size can be a huge advantage against predators, their immensity is actually what caused their extinction. They are thought to have consumed a plant-based diet, mainly fruits and berries, although very little is known of their behavior. But we do know that climate change could have played a crucial role in their demise as well. Considering that a silverback gorilla today has to eat around 40 pounds of plant material per day, imagine just how much a Gigantopithecus had to ingest every single day. And when the climate became drier and his natural jungle became a savanna, they simply didn't have enough to eat anymore. But some people believe that some specimens of Giganto actually survived and scattered everywhere in the world. And they're the cause of the Bigfoot and Sasquatch sightings everywhere. Number 9. Pelagornis sandersi the largest bird alive today is the wandering albatross, with a wingspan of three and a half meters. And they are absolutely impressive. But now, imagine a prehistoric bird that was actually double that. And now, you would have an idea of just how big the Pelagornis sandersi was. They had a wingspan of a whopping seven meters. That wingspan rivals that of a Harrier jump jet. In addition to their immense size, they also had razor-sharp teeth in their beaks. They were so incredibly massive that the only way for them to actually fly was to jump off a rocky cliff and rely on warm air currents to keep them in the air. And also, like modern day birds, the bones of the Pelagornis sandersi were hollow and quite thin to make this giant as lightweight as possible to be able to remain airborne. Researchers think that they only weighed 48 pounds. For something the size of a fighter jet, that is quite impressive. They were definitely carnivorous birds that preyed 
on large fish and aquatic creatures. They could glide over the open ocean for miles on end like a dark shadow of danger. Number 8. Idestis this is one of the most terrifying prehistoric sea monsters, the kind that would have terrorized seamen and would have had songs written about them. The Edestus was an incredibly odd and bizarre shark, enough to haunt your nightmares for the rest of your life. But thankfully, it lived some 300 million years ago during the late Carboniferous period in the United Kingdom, Russia, and the United States. It is believed to have been able to reach lengths of almost 7 meters, making it a gigantic killing machine. It has been dubbed the scissor-toothed shark because its teeth didn't fall out once they were worn out, like what most modern sharks experience. Instead, new gums and teeth were constantly produced at the back of their jaws as the old teeth were pushed forward. This resulted in a very strange appearance reminiscent of the shape of a scissor. Researchers believe that the Adestus might have hunted by swimming at a very high speed and slamming into a larger prey's body. Its teeth and jaws would have burst through the flesh and bones like a serrated battering ram. This technique would have killed any animal instantly, no matter the size of it. Number 7. Meganura if you have a fear of insects, like a lot of people do, you surely will feel very glad that Meganeuras have been long extinct. To help your perspective, Meganeuras were an eagle-sized dragonfly that also lived during the late Carboniferous period, and they're considered to have been the largest flying insect to ever exist on Earth. Their wingspan ranged from two to two and a half feet long, and their larva is thought to have measured over 12 inches. The Meganeura larva were also predators, using an ambush technique to prey on spiders, insects, and small amphibians. The adult Meganeuras were anatomically identical to modern-day dragonflies, except they had their reproductive organs in their tail rather than in their head. Their diet consisted of other insects like dragonflies, but they also fed on larger land reptiles. Just imagine an insect big enough to be able to hunt down a small dinosaur. They had a very large and powerful jaw that allowed them to snap up and incapacitate their prey and then proceed to eat it alive if necessary. Number 6. Anomalocaris 540 million years ago, when the oceans were full of oxygen and most living organisms were single-cell ones, there was an exception, a complex multi-cell creature called an Anomalocaris. The name in Greek means unusual shrimp. It was a giant arthropod, and it was the absolute king and ruler of the Cambrian Ocean. Researchers believe the Anomalocaris could have reached 1.5 to 2 meters in length. It was a top predator that terrorized the ocean for hundreds of years, marking the clear beginning of the evolutionary arms race. They looked like squids, but with two very large eyes on stalks and a very bizarre and odd-looking circular mouth on the bottom of its head that had dozens of spiny plates to cut through the flesh of its prey. The Anomalocaris also had two frontal and elongated appendages with 14 segments, and in each segment a pair of sharp spikes that had the ability to wound and grab its prey and then project it into the circular ventral mouth. They were excellent swimmers and very efficient predators, mostly thanks to their extremely sharp vision caused by the thousands of lenses they had in each eye. Their combination of speed, supreme vision, and the two spiky frontal arms made the Anomalocaris a well-oiled killing machine of the ancient seas. Number 5. Megatherium Meet the largest of the ground sloths that lived in modern-day South America some 5 million years ago during the Cenozoic era. They were astoundingly huge, reaching lengths of 6 meters from tail to nose, and they weighed at a staggering 4 tons, making them 10 times the size of living sloths. They were armed with massive claws and enormous jaws and teeth. They were so big and powerful that they could actually lethally harm the almighty Sabertooth if necessary. 
They were herbivores like their living relatives, the sloths, and the armadillo. But from time to time, the megatherium would eat meat to supplement their diet, and when they did so, nothing in their natural habitat could stand in their way. Not even a group of vicious saber-tooths. They could stand on their hind legs and deliver incredibly hard claw strikes just like modern-day bears. And in this way, harm and kill anything they liked. Or didn't like, I guess. They mainly lived in groups inside caves, so when there was one, many more could follow, making their presence all the more dangerous. These giants actually coexisted with humans, as they have found megatherium remains in Argentina that have cut marks on them. Number 4. Arthropleura for anyone looking for inspiration for a fantasy horror movie featuring terrifying creatures that could devour us all, you need not look any further. Let me present to you the horrifying Arthropleura, an ancient six meter long centipede. And unfortunately, these things don't belong to the fantasy world. They were very real. They lived in what today is Great Britain and North America during the Carboniferous period, and they are thought to be the largest land in to have ever walked the earth. Their bodies were composed of 30 armored plates, with each a pair of legs growing out of it. But thankfully, the Arthropleura's diet consisted mainly of leaves and dead wood. It couldn't have been a predator because it was practically completely blind. On the other hand, it had a very keen sense of smell. They were very scary looking, but scientists insist on saying its personality was quite timid and not aggressive at all. Although, if it had to, it had incredible strong jaws that could deliver a very nasty bite, and they could stand up to be taller than a small house. Number 3. Leviathan this mythological gigantic sea monster that predates the Bible was imagined and very much feared by the Jewish people. They believe that the Leviathan still exists in the depths of the ocean, and it's believed to be a multi-headed gigantic serpent that lowers in the darkness. It is also said that any man that would see it would be consumed by fear and die. It is a colossal creature, the bearer of immense power and viciousness. Awaking the Leviathan would be the demise and end of the human species. Whenever it moves, it creates massive waves that make entire islands disappear. Its back is protected by rows of shields so tight that not even air can go through them. The Leviathan also has the most powerful jaw and razor-sharp teeth as big as trees. Oh, and it can also spit fire so powerfully that it could burn down a military ship in a matter of seconds. Nothing on Earth can compare or compete with the Leviathan's power and strength. Let's all hope for it to never be awoken again. Number 2. Big Fin Squid the Big Fin Squid, or the Long Arm Squid, was discovered by chance in 2007. Basically, an ROV employed by the Shell Oil Company was nonchalantly moving through the cold and dark waters of the Gulf of Mexico at 8,000 meters below the surface of the ocean when the camera caught something that had never been seen before. A phantasmagoric pale creature that resembled a squid, or an alien if you ask me. This nightmare of a creature measures 26 feet in length, and as you can see, it has elbowed tentacles and pulsating fins that will haunt your nightmares for the rest of your life. And because no big fin squid has ever been captured to be studied, there's no way of knowing if the one in the images is an adult or a juvenile, which means that there might be other alien looking monsters three times the size of this one or more. Not much is known about this deep sea monster exactly because it lives in such deep waters, which makes it impossible for us to go where it lives. And these are the only images is ever captured of one of them. Who knows what else is down there? Number 1. Fangtooth Fish this fish has the largest teeth for its body size in the entire ocean. The fangtooth fish lives in the deep waters, usually at around 600 meters below the ocean surface. There aren't many images of it, and that's why scientists think it might be quite rare. They're incredibly feisty and aggressive creatures, but thankfully, they are quite small. They can only reach around 6 inches in length. They primarily eat shrimp, which they absolutely destroy and shred thanks to their impressive razor-sharp teeth. Because 
Because they live where sunlight doesn't reach, they can feel where their prey is by the minuscule vibrations that the prey emits when it moves in the water. They are one of the only active predators of the deep seas. With most of the others being ambush hunters, the fangtooth fish actually goes looking for its prey and hunts them down until they are locked down between its powerful jaws. They are incredibly efficient predators and they are an absolute nightmare for shrimp. But don't worry, they don't pose any kind of threat to us. I don't know about you, but I had no idea that so many terrifying creatures have existed on this planet. Out of all the monsters in this video, which one do you think is the most powerful? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!